We were pretty honest. <laughs> and we're also really raw. It's because we talk about our struggles and the pain we've been through. You're trying to find your happiness from your spouse and you don't find it there. These are men and I'm looking for my husband. This Good. one's really tall. This one has lots of hair. Overrated, <laughs> overrated. Of all the men in the world, I choose you. But then we're married a while and suddenly I didn't notice before, but you have this brown leaf. So we're going, I think this is awesome. Jesus is with me. But then I start going the same places that I always went and Jesus like, no, I got this. Like I know where to go and it's my job to fix you because something's wrong with you. You think, yeah, I want my spouse to change. <laughs> then our marriage could work. And I'm telling you, don't go there. What would it look like if I allowed him to be in total and complete control? All right, Lord, I give you everything. It's all good for a while, right? But then it's like, wait, you don't talk, you don't listen, you don't lead, you don't pray, you don't spend time with the boys, you don't do all these things. Me, mom. No, 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 I never said that I would go there. No, you know, I'm gonna help you. Let me help you, Jesus. I'm trying to get this thing. Like, Lord, no, no, like, don't do that. Like, no, here, I'm gonna help you. And, <laughs> have you ever done this? We're trying to find life horizontal from a person, from an amount of money, from a, from a job, from a thing, but we're actually looking in the wrong place. We have to take our eyes off of each other and say, okay, God, I want to find life from you. And let me tell you, when you do vertical marriage the way God designed marriage, I'm telling you, it can change your entire legacy.